all right guys so i'm back with another video and i just wanted to shoot this video to show y'all that i'm putting in another ground mount solar ground mount in the backyard so i can get a little, little more power to come in to charge that uh tesla because uh i'm gonna need a lot more power so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna max out the 7,000 kilowatt of solar on the uh, grow white 12k because i tried to see when i can if i can go in today and pick up a uh, two eg4 inverters and they told me it's a uh, one week lead time so i'm uh use what i got here at the house so i'm gonna use the grow watt and i'm gonna charge the car i already switched the eg4 batteries over to the grow watt inverter and soon as my dad get here we're gonna build well we're gonna put the panels up we already built it and all we did was ran these super struts across with this boat if you can look under there it's a boat and then we tighten it up and it's real tight and then right here we kind of went with a boat and an l-shaped washer i don't know if y'all can see that but we went with an l-shaped washer and it's kind of in there like this holding this down i gotta put some more concrete in the ground up just a little more but that's pretty much how we did it though and i believe we used some type of u-boats over here on this side if you can see we locked it in and up under there we locked it in like that yeah it's a little wobbly but and that's because i don't i use these if you see these a little thinner than these super struts right here these super struts a little thinner but it's just holding it that's all it's doing so it's not gonna go nowhere especially when we tighten up the panels on it and if i have to put another one across here i do have more and i'll put one across there as well if if need be i can do that or i'll run one across like i'll run it across down like that just to hold the weight of the panels so that's what we're getting ready to do and let me take y'all inside we're gonna go inside so i'll hit y'all when i get back inside oh before we go inside i just wanted to let y'all know the car is charging i do have the car charging right now let's see oh let's all right so all right let's go charging i do have it charging at one kilowatt right now only because i got the ac on i'm just testing right now i'm just doing tests you know for people to show them that you can do both that is a 40 kilowatt hour battery so this is just a test but anyways bringing we're charging at 1k so all right i'll see y'all when i get inside all right, so we inside the house. I want to show y'all this big fan. I always keep this fan running all day. It's running all day. I know I got to fix the light, but it's running. And I also have my three-ton AC unit running. It's on 68. I got it on 68. I don't know if y'all can see that way up there, but it's on 68, and it's blowing very, very, very cold. I mean, it's cooled this whole house down. And let me also show you what I did this morning. Put this light on real quick. So the only reason why these uh, lights are beeping because we need to catch charge. Both of these was beeping, but now it caught, you know, the percentage, so it stopped beeping. So we just got to get that percentage just caught up on that one. That's a little weird, but so right now we're bringing in 57.5 amps. The battery sitting at 32%, and it would take nine hours and 28 minutes to charge at three thousand kilowatt of kilowatts of solar battery sitting at 53.1 like i said i got it temporarily hooked up i have to get some longer wires or either move this inverter which i don't think is an option because believe me this inverter is heavy so it, it would either be move the batteries or move the inverter i'll figure out which one i'm gonna do so if you can see on the inverter the battery sitting at 53.5 let's see how much we we're using 227 watts but mind you the ac unit is not running off of this grow watt it's running on the mpp solar 5k so i'm just showing y'all this is what my house is running on right now which would be the fan because my car and my ac unit is charging on the 5k mpp solar inverter all right and let's see what we're bringing in on solar right now we're bringing in 1k 
sun must be going up and down we're getting a little cloud so that's the reason why it's moving like that because if i go back over here you'll see we're bringing in 2.1 all right so the sun coming back out if you can see there we go right there 3.4 kilowatts i'm going to get that to 7k we're going to charge this battery with 7 kilowatts that's exactly what i want to charge this battery that way i can charge at home now i'm telling you that the lines in the tesla uh superchargers are getting longer and longer i was behind eight people it's getting longer and longer so definitely want to charge at home as fast as i can all right so this is what my car is running off it's draining out of these batteries the two ufo batteries 10k 10k so that's 20 kilowatts and let's see what we doing 49.3 volts bringing out 50 amps out of the battery 50 amps out of the battery right now let's see the capacity 83 percent we want to have 137 amp hours remain so let me show you what it's pulling so we're pulling 2.2 kilowatts and that's running the tesla and the ac unit and the solar we don't have much coming in we only have 930 almost a thousand watts coming in on the solar and i only have you know that's it so that's what's happening it is around i don't even know the time right now but so I'm out. okay yeah so yeah so the ac unit is pulling we're only pulling 2.2k that's pretty good i'm gonna amp what i'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, add more amps on the car where we can max out this inverter. So I'm probably going to try to get it up to like 35 or maybe 4,000 4, watts between the car and between the uh, AC unit. But we still got 100%. Well, we had 83%, but we still got the four bars because we are bringing in 1,000 watts. So mind you, take away 1,000 watts from the 2200. We're only using 1200 right now because of the solar, only because of the solar. And these lights, all right, so that one went off. So we're just waiting on that one light to go off, and it will. That's because the battery was at 17% this morning when I woke up. So that's the only reason why them lights come on. It's like a long light. All right, so next video I shoot will be me showing that I completely, I mean, I completed the ground mount. And you'll see how many watts that's going to be coming in. Like I said, right now we bringing in 3.3. So that'll be my next video. You can expect that video in a couple of days, maybe a week. I'll shoot that video. So I'll see y'all when I shoot my next video.